Hi, I'm Angel. Thanks for stopping by while I share with you what I've learned so far about cutting tires. Uh, I started cutting these yesterday for the first time after paying for a couple loads to be recycled after having to shut down a agri-sculpture project that I had going for the last six years where I had accumulated a lot of tires with plans um, to build with them. And anyway, rather than fight the county or the state since I didn't do the correct permitting initially I thought I would just uh, recycle of them recycle them and start fresh only then I found out well for one I haven't had much cash flow and it costs three to six dollars each which is you know a couple hundred bucks for a big load um, which isn't that much but um, and I had come up with a couple but I've been short on work and then I also discovered through that process that they're not actually being recycled. They're just being cut up and put in the landfill. So I have, I'm re-inspired to try to find some artistic thing to do with them. And I was just curious to see how hard it would be um, to cut them up. I've seen lots of videos, lots of different things used. I will say I used uh, a grinder wheel, metal wheel. Did not work very well. It works, but it smokes a lot. It's not very pleasant. Um, so far, the best I've found is the reciprocating saw. Um, after a starter hole with a double drill hole. So that's what I'm going to do. I have a couple other hand methods I'm going to be trying, but I think for this video, I'm just going to be uh, sharing this part. And I'm going to, I will remind you, wear safety goggles. These are at least plastic glasses. Um, Gloves are a good idea. I just cut myself just a little while ago. Luckily, it was minor. And I just have one power supply, so I got to switch back and forth, which is probably good because it keeps me from having too many tools uh, out of hand. I'm going to drill a couple holes on here, flip it over, drill a couple holes, do the other tire, and I'm probably going to pause you after just a brief demonstration of how loud and uh, how long it takes to drill one hole. <laughs> Just like that, zips off, flip that over. I'm gonna pause you and do the other four of those and then I'll come back and show you cutting them. All right, I'm back. I've drilled a few more holes on all sides of those two tires. And I'm gonna take the reciprocating saw. I just have like a, it's close to an all purpose blade. It's a wood with nails blade. It's a shorter one which I find handier for these narrower tires, which have turned out to be surprisingly tougher than some of the others. I'm actually going to angle this down here so you can see my messy work area down here. I've just found it's easier to use the ground for leverage. Um, so here's my two holes that I drilled. Again, I'm just going to show you a little bit, and then I will pause and come back. You get the idea. I'm going to go on around, flip it over. I'll show you a little on the other side because it's a little trickier. And already I can, uh, I have a hard time finding the right line. I think it'd be a little easier if I was off this tread, but um, it does make it easier to think about cutting it through and having a flat piece to come on the outside of that round. So it just depends on what you're going to do with them, where you want to cut them. Keep the saw down close to the bracket there. Just a pro tip that I didn't know till recently. I'm going to pause you and come back after I cut this tire or flip it over. All right, so just took a couple minutes to do that side. I'm going to uh, keep you with me while I start the side and then probably pause you and just bring you around to show you the the finishing of that because it's just a little trickier. Um, probably becoming obvious to you that a nice jig up here would be a handy thing. And if I were doing this, you know, for longer term, I would definitely do that. And that's I 
so I'm just keeping you with me for this whole part. difficult depending on how much into that tread you get where there's all kinds of steel and other bands but also this part is uh, now almost completely detached so it gets a little trickier again where a, where the right jig would come in handy <laughs> have any questions uh, let me know if that helped check out the description for ways you can connect with me probably put some links uh, affiliate links which don't cost you anymore but do help me out help this channel out if you care to and you're looking for put a link for uh, a couple tools including probably a saw and a drill down there <sighs> yeah it's a little bit hard work not too bad um, just to recap, different tires are different. Um, if your area does recycle tires, I encourage you to properly recycle them. I am going to properly dispose of these, um, but in my county, they actually just put them in the landfill after cutting them up, so um, I'm going to see if I can find a better use for them before I resort to that, but worst case scenario, that's what we'll do. I welcome your questions and comments. I thank you for your support. Till next time, I wish you blue skies, smiles. Don't forget to play and drive forward.